if you're here to learn how to floss step by step, please stop the video and watch a different one. There are hundreds and hundreds of great YouTube video that can teach you how to floss step by step using a 3D generated videos or by showing you a live demonstration where they get really close to the teeth where you can see all the detail. And that way you can probably learn how to floss much better than for me to explain how to floss to you guys. What I want to talk about is what people tend to forget when they floss their teeth. Generally speaking, we floss to get rid of plaques between our teeth. In other words, areas where our toothbrush has a hard time reaching. A study showed that about 30% of Americans floss daily. 30%. I think it sounds about right because flossing sucks. <laughs> hey, but do me a favor. If you have a floss lying around your house, why don't you go grab it and then take some out. Just maybe just like an arm's length, you know, to your elbow. Not too much if you don't want to. And just tie it around your finger. And then why don't you slide it between two molars or the biggest teeth in your mouth, upper or lower, doesn't matter. Just kind of slide it and then pull it out. And now what I want you to do is to smell your floss. I know it sounds ridiculous and gross, but just try it and see if you smell anything. You know, like here. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're- Yeah most likely that the smell is probably gonna be unpleasant. I just smelled my own floss and it wasn't smelling like flowers. I'm sure in some cases that it will even smell like um, or resemble poop, you know? Let me tell you on a little secret. That is how your breath probably smells like around people. I hate to floss, but I can't imagine going outside of my dorm smelling like that, especially when I have to talk to people in the clinic or in the classroom. Bacteria likes to stay hidden in our mouth. Do you know where the best place for them to hide and then start growing? That's right, between our teeth, under our gums. Bacteria tend to get their nutrients from the surrounding oral environment and also from the things that you eat. Pieces and pieces of those food residue that get stuck between your teeth are bacteria's nutrients. So by flossing, we can scrape those bacterias off our teeth and protect our teeth and our gums and reduce your horrible bad breath. Speaking of scraping, when people floss, people tend to forget to scrape along the teeth and that's probably the most important when it comes to flossing your teeth because just by going up and down isn't as effective as if you were to scrape along the teeth. Take a look at this. Our teeth makes an arch shape along the gum line. What this means that when you go down between the teeth, you gotta make sure you go a little bit further inside the gums and then you want to make sure that floss is touching along the teeth kind of like you're hugging the teeth in a way and then when you pull up you make sure that the floss is along the teeth hugging very tight and then scrape it up and then go back down and do the same thing to the other side this way you can not only get rid of bacteria between your teeth but also you can get those bacteria out under the gums and that is how you effectively floss your teeth. Second, did you know that floss is a very capable tool? People out there cutting cakes with this, people out there cutting watermelon with a floss, that kind of blew my mind, but it's very capable, which means that floss can definitely cut or hurt your gums. This usually happens when people just forcefully just push those floss down between the teeth. I think there's a very small percentage of people who are lucky enough to have perfectly evenly distributed nice teeth and the rest of us we end up getting crowding or unorderly teeth not distributed evenly like for me too i have braces so people like us tend to have a little bit more hard time flossing because not only that is hard 
for us to get the floss through our teeth if you have crowding that is or you may push it down too hard and cause a damage like cutting your gums or even then you can even pretty much break the floss along the way or even get stuck between the teeth and you have very annoying time trying to take out the floss this kind of pushes us away from flossing daily in most case we don't use a technique where you move our floss like a seesaw motion or like back and forth especially people who have uneven teeth you know the regular people i think it's fair that you can gently kind of wiggle it in a seesaw position or back and forth just to get through the area where the teeth are contacted very tightly we call this contact points which is very small when once you get through that, you have an easier time going in along the teeth into the gums and then pulling it out. This way, not only you will protect your gum from cutting or damaging or hurting by forcefully jamming it in, you can kind of just gently wiggle it to the point where you can enter and then just slide it out. Hey, okay, make sure you're going along the teeth and hugging. Make sure you're hugging the teeth. If you don't do that, then you're not really flossing, okay? The purpose of flossing isn't to remove food that gets stuck between your teeth, but remove plaque off your teeth that will lead to further complications such as cavity, gum disease, or even heart disease. If you can just remember these two things that I talked about on this video, your flossing will not only be super effective, but also these bacteria don't stand a chance. Flossing does take some time to get it used to, but let me assure you, by flossing and removing plaques, your teeth will thank you. Your gums will thank you. Your heart will thank you. And most importantly, your wallet will thank you. And one more thing. You know those interdental brushes? Those little tiny brushes that you can kind of stick it between your teeth? Or even those water gun or water pick. I wouldn't say it's a good alternative, but I would recommend it to people who really, really despise flossing because those are much easier to use. And I think they're pretty fun because, you know, spraying water on your teeth and besides it's better to use those and clean between your teeth than not doing anything like always if you have any question regarding dental care you can always leave a comment below and also if you like this video you can subscribe and give me a thumbs up and until next time peace